Church, I hope you're doing well, and I cannot wait till we can gather together again and be in God's community and God's church. But as we continue to practice the belief that church is in the body and not the building, we are excited to continue to walk through the Word with you through these devotions. Today I'm reading in 2 Corinthians chapter 9 as Paul is urging the Corinthians to continue their steadfast giving and service and really to embody the fruit of the Spirit. I'm picking up in verse 5. If you have your Bible, or if you don't, you can follow along. So, I thought it necessary to urge the brethren that they would go on ahead to you and arrange beforehand your previously promised bountiful gift, that the same might be ready as a bountiful gift and not affected by covetedness. Now I say this, He who sows sparingly shall reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully shall reap bountifully. Let each one do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. And God is able to make all the grace abundant to you that you are always having all sufficiency in everything you may have abundance for every good deed, as it is written. Now before we get awkward, I'm not talking about tithing, but you should do that. As we continue this season of COVID-19 and being stuck at home, I realize that I've become mildly complacent in acting out my faith in everyday life. Yes, I read the Bible. Yes, I pray. And yes, we continue to navigate what digital church looks like together as a community. But living a vicarious life of faith outwardly towards the community in which I live and reside in, if I'm being honest, has become somewhat stale. And Paul's words of urgency to prepare the gift and God loves a cheerful giver cut me to the core of my heart as I hunker down in my house and continue to just board up my life to anybody in the outside world. In church, as we enter this extended season of whatever this is, I hope that all of us will be urged and rekindled by Paul's words that God loves a cheerful giver, that we may continue to find ways to sow bountifully in new and creative methods as we are confined to our homes and being six feet apart. That the ways that we previously loved one another and taught the person and character of Jesus Christ to those around us are not available to us. That we don't stop just being Christians because the old way is not working anymore. I'm excited to see the ways that we continue to do this as a church and a community and are excited for a time that we can do this together as a congregation and fellowship. I love you and I miss you and I hope you are doing well.